Located behind the Lotus Garden Chinese Restaurant on Hospitalia Lane in San Bernardino is a delightful Peruvian restaurant called El Rico Pollo Peruvian Cuisine and Grill. Under the guidance of Chef Abel Salvador, some of the most delicious original as well as traditional Peruvian dishes can be enjoyed at very reasonable prices. The dining room is decked out with nice Peruvian artwork and paintings, while the menu offers lots of seafood, beef, chicken, and pasta dishes, all made with lots of Peruvian love and passion. Influenced by the flavors of Spain, China, Italy, Japan, and West Africa, El Rico Pollo is one special and exciting restaurant in the Inland Empire you really must try. And oh yes, they also have a nice selection of Peruvian beers and wines. Well, we're here in lovely San Bernardino at a fantastic Peruvian restaurant. Now, if you've never had Peruvian food, you're really missing a great treat. A lot of different influences, and I'll tell you, the food is fresh and so, so good. Let's get right into it. Now, when you're first seated, the first taste you're going to get is corn nuts. But not just any corn nuts. This is made out of Peruvian corn. It's made right here in the kitchen. It's called camchita. It's absolutely delicious, and it's served with a real uh, tangy, spicy green chili sauce. I'll tell you one thing. These corn nuts are very addicting, so you don't want to fill up on them, although it's very hard not to. Now here's a great appetizer that all Peruvians absolutely love. It's called Papa a la Wakahina. This is sliced potatoes topped with a spicy cheese sauce served with lettuce, one olive, and a half a hard boiled egg. Now this seems like a real simple appetizer, but it's absolutely delicious. And if you like a little spice to your cheese, this is a great sauce and it just kind of smear things around and it's so good. Next, if you like seafood, pescado a la macho. This dish consists of a boneless, breaded, and fried basa fish fillet, and it's made with tomatoes, onions, garlic, and chili peppers, served with white rice. It's absolutely wonderful. If you like seafood, it's a really nice dish, and the fish isn't real crispy fried. It's just a nice fry. Later on, we'll talk about a real crispy fried fish. Now we have lomo saltado. This is strips of lean top sirloin steak sautéed with a tangy soy vinegar sauce with red onions, tomatoes, cilantro, and french fries. Now this dish is served with white rice and it's got a great flavor. It's, it's a real mild vinegar, a little tangy soy sauce. Again, this is the influence of China and Japan and just a really nice dish. Here we have the Tyrarine Verde Con Pollo. This is spaghetti with an incredible pesto sauce with grilled chicken. One word describes it all, delicious. This is some of the best pesto sauce I've ever had, including all the ones I've had in any Italian restaurant. This is a fantastic dish you're all going to love. Now, if you like fried seafood, you've got to get the Halea Parana. This is a large portion of perfectly breaded and deep fried shrimp, calamari, octopus, fish, and yuca, and served with a homemade tartar sauce. Now when I come here, which is often, this is the one dish I've got to get. This is absolutely fantastic. The flavors of the breading, it's not overpowering, and their tartar sauce. It's got a nice onion overtone to it. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Or as they say in Peru, delicioso, eh, something like that. Now the arroz con moriscos. This is a Peruvian version of paella. It's shrimp, clams, mussel, octopus, and calamari. It's cooked in a delicious seafood broth. And then rice, peas, carrots are added in. It's a slowly simmered. It's absolutely fantastic. Lots of flavors. I love the broth. It had a nice seafood broth. It was like a clam uh, broth to it. Absolutely delicious. And again, all the food here is for everybody. It's not, it's not going to scare you off, I promise. And now the beefsteak a lo probre. This is a simple but delicious dish. This is a grilled top sirloin steak topped with a fried egg, steamed rice, fried plantain, and fries. You know, Peruvians eat a lot of carbs, you know, bananas is one thing, but potatoes, they have over 1,000 varieties of potatoes, and I was told that potatoes started in Peru. I thought it was Idaho, but what do I know? But again, meat, plantain, bananas, rice, and fries. Mm-mm. Now, here's a real treat, chupa de camarones. This is delicious shrimp soup with milk, rice, squash, 
peas, carrots, corn, potatoes, egg, cubes of Mexican cheese, and of course, shrimp. Now, it's really hard to describe the flavors. It's absolutely incredible, the different kind of textures you get with this. It's not quite creamy, but it's so different than any other soup. It's almost like a chowder. Yeah, that's what it is, a Peruvian chowder. Now, for you vegetarians out there, you got to get the pediata mixta. Actually, I'm just kidding. This is for meat eaters only. This is a huge platter consisting of two skewers of beef hearts, two Italian sausages, top sirloin steak, chicken, and grilled pork chop. It's served with fries, and I'm telling you, it's delicious. Again, if you like meat, this is like a dream come true. This is for two people. It's very satisfying. I don't know how they season or marinate their, their uh, products, but they're very tender, soft, and the beef heart, you cannot tell. At first I was like, Ew, it's gonna taste like beef heart or beef liver, but guess what? You can't tell, it tastes just like meat. So uh, again, be adventurous, try this dish. It's like living in Peru, it's that good. Man, this is really some delicious food. I'll be right back with a wrap up. God, this is amazing, and their chilies, their peppers, I mean. You know, Peru is a very diverse nation, and it really reflects in all the food here. So don't be afraid to try things. I mean, come on, folks. This cuisine's been around for a long time. It's got to be good. Now, one thing good about this restaurant, too, is not only everything made fresh, but they get their chilies from Peru. And these are chilies that are only grown in Peru. So you're getting some really authentic flavors here. Now, my three favorite picks here are the jalea, which is a fried seafood, the arroz con mariscos, and the Chupa de Camarones. So I'll see you soon at El Rico Pollo Peruvian Restaurant. For more information on the Let's Line Out show, go to kvcr.org and look for us under local programs. You can email me at alan at alanborgan.com and you can listen to the Let's Line Out radio show on KTIE 590, The Answer, every Saturday from 3 to 5.